ten thirty four. Anyway, do you? I bet you had a response to everything Job said. Well, guess what? Elisfaz has one too. Then Elisfaz, the Timurite, replied, Would a wise person answer with empty notions? Or fill their belly with hot east, with the hot east wind? Would they argue with useless words? With speeches that have no value. Hmm. You, but you even undermine pity and hinder devotion to God. You go oh, to sleep. Your sin promotes your her, your mouth. You adopt the tongues of the crafty. Your own mouth condemns you, not mine. Your own lips testify against you. Are you the first man ever born? What does that have to do with anything? Where are you brought where you brought forth before the hills? Do you listen in on God's counsel? Oh, it's kind of like a who are you? Do you have a monopoly on wisdom? <clears throat> okay. What do you know that we do not know? What insights do you have that we do not have? <clears throat> the great haired and the age are on our side. Men even older than you, than your father. That doesn't necessarily mean you're right. Are God's con constellation not an even not enough for you words spoken gently to you why has your heart carried you away and why do you why do your eyes flash so that you vent your rage against god and pour out such words from your mouth what are your morals, mortal, or mortals, that they could be pure, or those who, those born a woman, woman, that they could be righteous. If God pleases not, no, if God places no trust in His holy ones, even if the heavens are not pure in His eyes, how much less mortals. Who are vile, corrupt, and corrupt. <coughs> who drink up evil like water. Listen to me and I will explain to you. Let me tell you what I have seen. What the wise have declared. Hiding nothing received from their ancestors. To whom alone the land was given. When no foreigners moved among them. Hmm. Interesting. All his days the wicked man suffers torment. The ruthless man through all the years stored up for him. Terrifying sounds fill his ears. When all seems well. Murder, murders, murders attack him. He despises, he de despairs of escaping the realm of darkness. He mar he is marked with for the sword. He warden wanders about for all food like v a vulture. He knows the day of darkness is at hand. Distress and anguish fill him with terror. Troubles overwhelm him like a king poison, a king poised to attack because he 
shakes his fist at God and vaults himself against the Almighty, defying charges against him with a thick, strong shield. Though his face is covered with fat and his wrist bulged with flesh, he will inhabit ruined towns and houses where no one lives, houses crumbling to rubble. He will no longer be rich, and his wealth will not endure, nor will his possessions spread over the land. He will not escape the darkness. A flame will wither his shoots, and the breath of God's mouth will carry him away. Let him not deceive him by trusting it what is worthless, for he will get nothing. In return, before his time, he will wither, and his branches will not flourish. He will be like a vine stripped of its unripened grapes, like an olive tree shedding its blossom. For the company of the godless will be barren, and fire will consume the tents of those who love bribes. Hmm, okay. Hmm. They conceive trouble and give birth to evil. Their womb fashions dissent. Oh, that is it. Oh, 1041, I guess.